Nana Banana. Is it worth the hype? Let's test it. Today, we're going to be exploring image editing with the newest AI model in Kittle, Nano Banana, which is now the default mode in Kittle Flows is 10 times faster than ChatGPT Image 1 HD, cheaper, and far more consistent. Consistency and fidelity are two attributes that are perfect for some use cases like image editing, but also for things like product mockups and illustration sets. So we're just gonna take some images and play around with Kittle Flows and Nano Banana and see what we can come up with. If you wanna start using Kittle Flows and Nano Banana, go ahead and check the link in the description to start designing today. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're not missing any upcoming videos. So first I put together a mood board for this use case. I've done this so we kind of know which direction we're going and I'm not just generating random pictures that I'm not going to use. Prompting is a little bit like trial and error and just like design. If you have a clear creative direction first, you will be avoiding a lot of adjustments in the future. I think Nana Banana is great for image editing because they can do things as simple as changing a t-shirt color or adding and removing objects from images. But today, as you see on the mood board, I'm very interested in juxtaposition, which is when you place two dissimilar objects together to create a contrasting effect. Design and advertising have a long history of using juxtaposition to either make a point and draw attention, but it can also be light and humorous. The fashion industry also loves juxtaposition so this is what we're going to be doing today and I'm really excited for that because we're going to be editing some pictures I took in the kiddo office of just some random things I found and we're just going to have some fun with it and of course we're going to play around with the tool a little bit and test image editing on a few different images and photographs okay so here's the images that I took in the office and my first idea is that I want to turn this water jug into an aquarium so I'm going to ask to put a few goldfishes swimming around in the water jug. Don't change the original picture. Okay, that is a horrible prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and click enhance prompt and see what we're going to come up with. I'm very excited for that. You can see how long it takes to generate an image with Nano Banana here. It takes 15 seconds so that it's considerably fast. Okay, wow, I love this. It did not alter the original image at all. It just added what I asked to be added. A field goldfish is swimming around in my water jug, which is cute, but it would not be a pleasant surprise to see that in my water jug when I get to the office. But it did exactly what I asked to do and the original image is almost untouched. It's almost the same. So now we have these headphones and I'm going to turn. How do you call this part of the headphones? I, I'm gonna call it an earpiece and and I hope Nana Banana will understand. Put your headphones on. So turn the headphones earpiece into tennis balls. It's a very simple prompt. So I'm just gonna go with it and see what's going to give me. All right, it's exactly what I expected. That's actually perfect. And it did not change anything from the original image. You can see that it is very faithful. It's very truthful to the image I gave. And it turned their earpieces into tennis balls. I am really impressed of how truth to the original image it is really. I mean, the color, the feel, like the photograph style that I just took it with my phone. <laughs> Even the, the shadows, still the same, untouched. All right, now we're gonna turn this apple into a tissue box. <laughs> so um, turn this apple into a tissue box. Don't alter the shape of the apple and make sure there's tissues coming out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and enhance the prompt and generate. All right, that's exactly what I asked. And I love how the background is the same. The apple is the same. Everything is the same. Just did exactly what I expected the prompt to do. So perfect. I also have this grape images. What if we bedazzle the grape? So bedazzle each individual grape. I don't want the crystals to be on the stem. So I'm going to tell the prompt this. Make sure the crystals tools are not on the stems, only on the grapes. And then I'm gonna enhance the prompt again and generate. Okay, I love this, fancy grapes, fancy grapes. <laughs> 
I love the headphones. With honestly, my my favorite one is the water jug. I love this. I love the goat fishes. It's so interesting and weird. I am truly impressed with the capability of staying true to the original image. I know I said this a thousand times already, but it really is something outstanding here. Um, so let's go ahead and test a few other capabilities. Um, so if, for example, what if I want to take these sunflowers and turn the sunflowers color into light blue just using simple prompts here not gonna enhance i'm just trying simple prompts right now and see what we can come up with and see if it understands what i'm saying it's not clocking to you perfect it did exactly what it has to do it turned the sunflowers light blue and it did not alter the original image as you guys see if we do a comparison a little side by side it is very similar in overall. What if we do something a little bit more complex here and go with change the t-shirt to a plaid green t-shirt. I'm going to enhance the prompt here just to make sure because I feel like this is a slightly more complex request. So let's generate. All right, that is perfect. The image is almost exactly the same. And something very important is that the characters, the person physiognomy did not change. It only changed what I asked, which was to change the t-shirt color and the t-shirt design. Now, I want to try to remove the scarf here on this picture. I'm very sad about it because this is a really cool scarf. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous of this scarf. So remove the scarf from this picture. Let's enhance the prompt. It gave us remove this scarf from the subject in this picture, ensuring a natural and seamless removal without altering the underlying clothing or neck area. That is exactly what we want. Maintain consistent lighting and texture in the area where the scarf was moved to match the surrounding details. Let's generate. Wow, I'm very impressed by this one. It just literally got rid of the scarf with no problems. I don't think I would alter this image any further. And it's the same as taking like a magic eraser and erasing something from a picture, but with prompts in one click. So yeah, I want to change the object here actually. So I'm excited to see this. So turn this drink into a espresso martini. Let's go. Something that I'm very impressed here and you can notice here and on the other pictures too, it's that it doesn't alter the photography style. So for example, this is still a flash photography. It's the same picture, but the prompt and the AI model understands what I mean by changing something. It doesn't alter the entire image. And that's why Nana Banana, it's like excellent for image editing. Here, what if we turn two artboards into one smart board? I'm very excited for this. So let's test this. Uh, so I'm going to grab this artboard and create a smart board. And I'm going to link this artboard to the same smart board. And we're going to go ahead and describe our prompt. Make these two people hug for a selfie. Generate. Let's see. All right, that is pretty cool. You can see they're in the exact background, the exact scenery as the first artboard. Yeah, I'm very happy with what we came up with today, with what we generated today. And this is just a few examples of what you can do with Nana Banana. You can add textures, you can create illustration sets, you can do image editing, you can create consistent product mockups, you can create consistent branding assets for your brand. So the possibilities here are unlimited and there are no <laughs> boundaries for creativity. Now I want to know from you, what do you think of Nana Banana? Are you going to be using the tool? How are you going to use it? Leave your thoughts down below. And if you found this video interesting, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more design insights. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!